Hello, this is I'm from Toolchef. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the skeleton instance component that we have in Atoms Area. So, let me create uh, a simple region group with some agents. Create the grid layout. Let's go to the parameter, let's start the agent type, and let's create a couple of agents here. So when you uh, add a uh, um, layout module and Atoms just generate automatically this uh, skeletal mesh instance component that has a specific name. So it starts with the agent type name, that in this case is my man, that is not the uh, asset name, but it's the Atoms agent type name that you can find here. And then there is the uh, jump tree name here, and if I open my um, man skin, sorry, not this one, is the man skin jump trees, is this one, so the man skin, that's the name of the asset. And then there is underscore a, that means that this one is generated automatically. So if you change something directly here, um, Atoms doesn't uh, maintain this information. So, for example, if I change, uh, I don't know, this material, uh, let's, I don't know, this one. If I check, let me select this one, check, you see, it doesn't maintain this, uh, this information. Because this one, uh, these components generate automatically every time uh, you change something on the on the agent group. So you have some some control uh, is here on the inside the agent group. Uh, you have the parameter for lighting and for rendering. That is where it is here. They basically are the same parameter that you have on the the, the mesh component here. So on the lighting and rendering. So if you need to customize something there, uh, do directly here. So for example, if you want shadows and so on. But for example, if you need to uh, customize uh, uh, a material uh, for this specific agent group without changing for all the agent groups, so without changing the base material, you can do that basically uh, like creating uh, manually the skeletal mesh component, skeletal mesh instance set component. Uh, as name, let's call it man, uh, man skin, and that's it. So now if I deselect and select again, and set the agent type, Man, skin. You see now, basically, uh, it's not using anymore the automatic one, but it's picking up my the one that I created. Now I can modify the material. So if I change and set, I don't know, this one for example. You see now uh, I have my. I have the right material and uh, atoms keep this information. So use use this uh, really specific name convention and then you can um, create manually and uh, customize as you want your uh, your mesh component here. This one for the default geometry. Uh, for the variation geometry, the naming is uh, a little bit different. So for example, let's add uh, variation behavior. Let's call this full. I prepared already one simple variation with this geometry with a head and bird. And this one is a variation table with my agent type. I created this variation here. Foo that now is using this, this asset. So now if I go to the agent group, uh, let's delete this guy here. And where is my agent group? Region group here. Uh, let's connect the variation table and 
now I have my variation. So if I need to select, select again, you see now the name, the name of the module are different because now basically you have the, the beginning, the name of the agent type, that's man, then this adds and then the name of the variation because I have my this variation here and then underscore and then the name of the um, uh, skeletal mesh asset that this was my variation so I have these three uh, skeletal mesh in this particular variation as you can see it create one uh, component for each that is called uh, man skin, bird geo and flathead so here the same, if you create uh, the same component with the same name but without the underscore A, then you can customize uh, your component as you want. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.